Hi guys, I am Mohammad Naji Abu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we will be discussing on YOLO V8, the latest version of YOLO family, and we will be discussing how can we install YOLO V8 and how can we do predictions using YOLO V8. So first, what we we can do, we need to create, we need to install Anaconda, and we can create a Anaconda environment that is by using the command called conda create minus p. env python equal to 3.8 so yolo v8 requires a python version greater than or equal to 3.7 and it requires a pytorch version 1.7 greater than or equal to 1.7 so for that first we can create a environment using conda and here i have selected python 3.8 okay. so once the environment is created we can activate it we can activate that environment using the command conda activate env so this will activate that particular environment okay. so once that is done so if uh, anybody have issues with anaconda installing anaconda what i have a my video okay so there is already a youtube video i have uploaded that with uh, how can you install anaconda in ubuntu and mac also so otherwise like you guys can directly go to anaconda.com and you can follow the steps here we can see a download options is there and you can follow the step okay so once that is done we, what we can do we can run the command pip install ultralytics okay. so let me make it slide show yeah so what we can do we can install pip install ultralytics okay so this may take uh, some time to install ultralytics so by default this will install pytorch and all the dependent component okay so once the installation process is done we need to check the pytorch is installed properly or not okay for that what we can do so this is my environment okay so i have i have already created the environment i can just type python okay so here i can type import torch so if this command is successful that means the pytorch installed properly otherwise we have to reinstall it okay. okay so in my case this is installed properly okay. so if this is not installed properly what you can do you can just go to pytorch pytorch website and you can follow these steps okay so i have already created a installation steps Okay, PyTorch installer steps is available in my YouTube channel. I will share that with you guys. Otherwise, you can directly go to the PyTorch website and you can follow the steps. Okay. So once the installation is done, okay, and the torch is properly and once we ensure the torch is properly installed, what we can do? We can just run the command. Okay. So let me. make it here you can run the command yolo maybe we can copy this let me copy this one let me copy this one okay and we can paste it here so before okay then i just hit the enter key here here we can see that yolo is a command and it's um, predict is the task that we are going to do and model is the the default model that we are going to use so currently we are using yolo v8n so this is the model name and source so currently like i'm downloading uh, a image from the website okay so this may take some time okay so this is done here we can see that uh, it has you can see that here it has a four persons are there one bus is there okay one stop sign is there right so let me go to that particular folder just a second uh, not this one let me close this not to clear this okay uh, let me check my folder okay so this is the folder here we can see 
this is my this is my re uh, input request okay so it says um, we can see that it says it identified four persons are identified here so let me check that image okay uh, here we can see Ah, uh, yeah, we can see that one, two, three, four, four images are there. So what what, what we can do? Uh, let me make it. Let me add one more parameter: service equal to true. Uh, somehow equal to is not working. Service equal to true. Yeah, let me run it again. So this will. Uh, when we said save SQL true, like this will uh, save the annotated the the image with bound box to uh, the runs folder. So I will show you that. So let it run. So in this video, like we will be using only the uh, command line tool. Okay. So we can see that result is saved to runs dictate predict folder. So let me take that run dictate and the predict folder okay so this is the result we can see that the person is there person is there and uh, here we have the person okay and uh, the sign is there the stop sign is there this is the bus so this is dictating everything okay so i have like another let me show you like one more thing so in my folder, I have a image is there. Okay, so let me see. I can run this image. Okay. For that, what I can do, I can just uh, edit the source. Okay, let me edit the source, and I can paste the name, image name. Okay, I'm running it. Okay, this is running. Okay, so this says, see the result, image is there, one car, one truck, one dog, right? And this is saved in the predict2 folder. So let me check that. It's in the runs, dictate, predict2. Yep. See? This is detected. One dog is detected. Bicycle is detected, and car is detected. Right? Yep. So that is all about in this video. So in our coming videos, like we can discuss more about YOLO V8. Okay. So thank you very much for watching my video. Please do do like and subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye bye.